All right, what's up guys? Derek here from SimNet Nutrition. So here we are in my backyard, and today I'm gonna be making a pull-up bar, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the ride so I can show you how to do it and maybe inspire you to build your own. So this isn't gonna be like some comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to dig post holes and on exactly how to drill straight through wood so you can get your pull-up bar straight. No, this is just gonna be the sort of, you know, bigger picture, big outline of what I do. Uh, and it's like the, one of the first nice weekends here uh, in the springtime and everybody is out mowing their lawns and their kids are screaming. So probably a lot of this is gonna be a voiceover, but I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna show you guys right now the um, equipment that I have. So basically we have these um, big posts here, the four by fours, they're obviously gonna stand upright and gonna hold the bamboo bar that I have across there. Um, we also have a post digger, we have a shovel, and then you're gonna need some concrete as well as some scrap wood. And I have a couple other things inside. Obviously we're gonna need a drill and a few other things. So I'll show you guys up close this bamboo because it's really, really neat. So it's about an inch and three eighths. It's not perfectly round, but one inch. You can hear the kids screaming back there. My gosh. Shut up, kids. Um, and it's actually like really sturdy. So you can't go over a span too long. So unfortunately I won't be able to use this whole bar because it does flex. Um, but I've kind of figured out that this is like the biggest span that you can get uh, where it isn't gonna totally flex completely. I really like using bamboo because it feels really nice on the hands when you grab it and it doesn't get cold in the winter and we get icy cold winters here in Canada so that's important. And it weathers okay but once this one, you know, if it eventually starts to crack and break then just buy another one. So I should tell you guys how I chose the spot in my backyard to put it. Uh, I'm renting this place right now so that's why it's like it's not even going to be permanent but I need a pull up bar so I'm going to put it in there. Uh, this is just the corner that gets the most amount of sun, uh, other than right there where I'm going to be building a garden box. You can see the wood over there. There is around the corner here that we could do. See, I got crap all over the yard, all sorts of projects going on. Uh, and right there would be a good spot, but uh, I don't know. I got a little garden bed there, and it's just a little bit closed in besides over here. Hi, Harry. The slack line goes across from tree to tree, and I also have my rings hanging from there. Kids next door are getting in shit. Let's see if we can spy on them. <laughs> so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure how far apart I want it. I'm gonna dig two holes in the ground there, nice and deep. Uh, of course, I have to, you have to measure the height of the bar and let's say you want you know, you want it to be seven feet high where the where the bar is, uh, so you're gonna have to keep seven feet out of the ground. So you're gonna only want to bury three feet in the ground, and then you have to account for a couple inches at the top as well because that's where the hole's gonna go to keep the bar across there. You guys will see as I go. Let's just start building it. I'll show you guys the other uh, the other stuff that I have. Hi, Kookie. Are you gonna help? Oh, very freaky. So this is the other stuff that I have. This is a drill. A spade bit, this is an important one. You gotta get through that wood so you can hang your bar. An inch and three eighths, I just guessed, and it's like exactly the same size. So I might have to bore it out a little bit to get the bamboo in, but we'll see. And then you're gonna need a level, probably one that's bigger than this, but that's all I got. So you're gonna have to use it. And then we need a measuring tape and water because you gotta stay hydrated. When I have the slack line up, it either goes to that tree or that tree. And I have dreams of like jumping off, swinging off it and landing on the slack line when I all have it set up. So um, I want it somewhat close, but far enough away that I'm going to be able to jump to the slack line from the pull-up bar and the other way around. So probably four feet or so away, but I'm just guessing. No idea. So this was the first time I ever used one of these post diggers and it worked really well. It's kind of like a corkscrew where you just keep spinning and it collects the dirt in the middle and then you just dump it out and keep going. You can't mess this one up as long as you have soft soil and not too many rocks. All right, now that we got our hole coming along and it's getting deeper, we want to measure to see how deep the hole is. So I'll show you guys. Sorry, everything's so overgrown. Again, I don't. This is I don't own this property. I'm renting, but I guess I could take care of it a bit better. But hey, I cut the lawn. So these are 10 feet long. I know I want that to be seven and a half feet 
long. So that leaves two and a half feet you would think that would go in the ground. But no, there's a little bit at the top that you gotta leave, right? When you drill this through, you don't wanna, obviously it's not gonna rest on the top. So I've got mine four inches down. So basically, to avoid doing all the math, I'm just measuring 90 inches, the 230 centimeters that I want this. And then I know I have to put soil up to there. So I'm gonna mark this little spot here. So that is 26 inches. So this is how deep the hole has to be. So let's measure the hole. And we're at, oh gosh, not even close. 14. <laughs> Keep digging. So I probably should have gone down a little deeper than this. And if you live somewhere where the ground freezes, definitely go down to three feet. But I figured I could probably get away with this. And because it's not permanent, I felt, ha, ah, what the heck. All right, so like all projects, this one is not without its snags. So obviously, eventually you're gonna hit some rocks. I don't know if we can see all the way down there, but yeah, right there, it's coming, but it's like a iceberg where I can it just tell it's so big back there. And I just gotta keep picking away until I'm at 26 inches. So now I gotta dig the other side. I thought I'd try the shovel to see how I liked it, but I definitely like the other tool better. All right, so now that we've dug um, like both the post holes, you can see, we gotta drill through the wood to put the pull-up bar through. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing there. So got everything we need here. We just have to do a little bit of measuring and be pretty careful. You wanna make sure that when you're drilling in, you're gonna go straight down so it's easy. I mean, you're not gonna push on the side, but you wanna make sure that it's perfectly level because any way out is gonna cause the pull-up bar, you know, to be, to sag or like to, you know, to go off that way or, or whatever. So you definitely wanna have it straight. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do my best. And then it's gonna just sit in there like that. It's gonna be awesome. And then once it's in like this, I'm gonna drill through this uh, all the way through, through the bamboo, through the other side, and then I'm going to secure it with like a bolt that secures it all the way through so that this can't spin and can't pull out this way because as it flexes, it's going to want to pull. If you guys understand what I mean, it's going to want to pull like that. So it'll flex a little bit less. Okay, here's a cool trick for finding center of something if you don't want to do any math. So this is like three and a half inches. It's a four by four, but don't ask. That's just how lumber works. It's three and a half inches. So I don't know, I guess that's like one and three quarters. Uh, but if you just go to like something that looks like very close to center, so like two inches, and then you measure on the other side, from the other side and you go two inches, left-handed, and then the center of those two is gonna be center. So you can kind of just eyeball it. I mean, I'm gonna be within like, you know, a very, very fraction of a, uh, an inch. So yeah, one and three quarters, boom. So this is kind of cool. I just like test fitted it and I was gonna cut it off like at the end there if it didn't, you know, kind of go past the end, but it fits and I'm gonna leave that hanging off then. I know if I hang on it, it'll kind of like dip a little bit, but I might be able to hang something from it. Who knows? So here I thought I could raise the barn by myself, but you can see I couldn't reach high enough. So I came up with this ingenious method to help me get it higher. See, I have a bar there, kick it up, and I could use that to support it and get it all the way in. I'm so smart. All right, and there we go. It's all done. What do you guys think? It looks straight. It's really tall. I don't know if it's too tall or not, but I don't want to dig anymore, so we're gonna go with it. Anyways, here's a cool way to kind of figure out how to like make it stand straight yourself because it wants to like flop all over the place. So you put these up and then you got to put the level on one side and then on the other side and then you just 
keep jigging these things until it's all level. Eventually I'm gonna have to check to see if that's level, but hopefully in the end when everything else is level, that definitely should be. All right, now I'm gonna climb up and make sure that the bar across the top is level. So I hope so. If the holes are the exact same depth and the ground is level and everything's plumb, it should be pretty good. Not even close, so that sucks. I gotta raise that side up a little bit on the left here. Ugh. So I've chopped a bunch of rocks in there and then I'm gonna lift it up and hopefully some of them go underneath and it raises it up just a little bit and it's the perfect amount <laughs> so in hindsight now that i've put it all together and i'm editing this and i've tried it out a few times i definitely should have not been lazy and dug the other one deeper rather than raising this one up it's definitely a little shakier than the other that definitely brought it up like an inch or two so hopefully that's the right amount i guess the ground is just not level it makes sense so now that everything is level, I've checked it twice, it's time to mix the cement. So I'm just using uh, the hole to mix it. You add a little bit of dry, add a little bit of wet, a little bit of dry. It's probably not the best way to do it, but I've definitely put up many fences before and done this and never had any problems. So now I just wait for the cement to dry and then tomorrow I will come back and secure the bar to the post. All right, so it's the next day, another beautiful day out here, and I checked the concrete out and it's definitely drying really nicely. You can see, just like, so sturdy. Coco's checking it out. So those supports can come off now, I mean, it's probably 75 or 80 percent of the way there. I hung on it briefly and it's awesome. I don't want to hang on it too much because I don't want to weaken the concrete. I want to wait the full 24 hours, maybe even more. So this morning I went out and got these big long bolts and some washers and I'm going to secure the pull up bar. Kind of, they're going to go through that way so that it doesn't twist and then it doesn't want to like move side to side or pull down. So it'll help it be a little bit more stiff. It's got to happen. Okay, so I have the bolt going through there now, you can see it, and it's really nice and tight. You can tell it's going to tie it together well, so just tightening it up. It doesn't really matter how tight like this is, it doesn't have to be squeezing the wood, but I just want it to, to stay secure. <laughs> One-handed. Whoop, whoop. Alright, so I just tightened that last bolt, and the other one's in. And it is feeling sturdy. All right, so here we go. I wonder what I should do first on it. Just like a pull up or muscle up or something. I think a muscle up. Let's do this. You see how tall I made it? It's up there, so I gotta jump. That's how I wanted it. Oh. All right, well, thanks for watching me build that, guys. I'm gonna have a bit more of a workout. I'm super tired because I had a really hard more workout this morning, but uh, I'm gonna spend a bit more time on this. I mean, how can I not? So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you guys have your own pull-up bar, I wanna hear about it. If you guys are gonna make one, tag me in it if you guys post it, all right? So I'll see you guys. Oh. See you guys on the next video, and oh, here we go. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys.
I guess we gotta get the screenshot. <laughs> So that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Just a couple things before I let you guys go. If you guys do go and make your own pull-up bar like this, which I hope I've inspired you to do or at least think about, definitely consider the situation that you're in. If you're going to be making one that's there permanently, going to be in your backyard for a while, use really heavy duty posts. Use six by six inch posts. They're about three times, almost four times the price of these four by four inch ones, but it will definitely be worth it. You'll get a much better end product, I promise you. And you could probably use something more stiff than the bamboo, but I really like it. I love how it feels on my hand and it's just really, really nice and kind of something different to use. So I don't mind a little bit of bend in it, but some people might not like that. All right, so watch for part two of the Q&A coming out soon and lots more exciting stuff. I have tons of exciting videos planned for the summer. I just have to find the time to do them. So I'm really excited for it. Lots of fun things coming. Thank you guys so much. See you soon.